Hi everyone and welcome to episode 3 of our ConfigMess 2023. My name is Johan Arvidmark and in this video you will learn a little bit more about task sequence error handling. So config manual OSD, how the sequence behave if something goes wrong. Uh, that means demo time. So here I have one of my config manual servers. When working with sequences, it's often not very effective to take a full-blown sequence like this one that has 40, 50 steps in it and try to figure out how it jumps around and works in between these different sections. What I find is very useful when trying to figure out and learn, okay, how does it really work behind the scenes? It is to create smaller custom sequences where I add my own steps to just to do some very quick testing. Because these custom sequences you can run either in full Windows, and you can run them over and over again, or you can run them directly in Windows PE. Especially when testing scripts, it's often useful to test them in WinP as well, because a PowerShell script may work perfectly fine in full Windows, but there could be something in WinP that is missing when you try to do certain PowerShell operations. But anyhow, to create a custom sequence, you simply right-click sequences, select create sequence, and you pick a custom sequence here. That will give you an empty sequence. You can specify a boot image, but otherwise it will be empty here. But I have created one already. I created that one earlier today, or this morning. So here is a very, very basic sequence. I have a few run command line actions. And as you can see, what everything they do, or all that they're doing, is just creating a text file in the root of my X drive, which will be available when I boot up uh, start a deployment. So this one here creates a test1 text file. This one creates a test2 text file. This one does a group1 test1 text file, group2 test1 text file. And this one here pretends to copy the log files on success. And this one pretends to copy them on failure. So I have some logic in here. And just to show you that this section here has a condition on it. This one will only run if the config manager step, the last one was happy. So succeeded equals true. And this one here will only run if it was not so happy. Quite sad in fact, meaning that was a failure. But right now, I don't expect any failures, but let's uh, Let's try out this one, shall we? I have deployed this to my all unknown collection, so I can go to one of my test clients. Boot it up. Boot from my boot media. Click next. Select my error handling sequence. But to prevent it from rebooting when it's done, I'm going to press F8 to get a command prompt, and I'm going to run the sequence. And it ran through all the action in that sequence. If I take a look on my X drive now, I have the text file that I expected. The four successful run command lines and the one that was pretending to do a copy log file on success. Now, what if I introduce an error into this? What if I go to my sequence and try to do something incredibly stupid? Like trying to run a PowerShell script that definitely does not exist anywhere. So I'm trying to fail on purpose. So the question is here, what will happen with the sequence? Will it continue to the others? Will it continue to the other groups? Or will it downright fail? Well, let's find out, shall we? This is the only change I've done. So I go back to my client. I'm going to reset it. Go from the uh, media again. Select the same sequence again, but again, before we're doing that, get my command prompt, 
I'm gonna run the sequence. And it failed right away. Now, what if I click finish on this one here? Go back to my command prompt. Check what files I have on my X drive. You can see that it only ran that one and failed. So basically, if you go back to this sequence here. It came to this step, but then anything after that did not run. Now, what you can do is go to this group and say, if this group fails, whoops, <laughs> I meant this one here. <laughs> if this group fails, go ahead and continue to other groups. So that means that if it fails here, it should go to this one realize it was happy so it's not going to do this one but it's going to go to this one here realize it did fail and it's going to fail and hopefully copy the log files on failure so let me ahead and apply those changes go back to my test client reset it Put from the media again here. Select the same sequence. Oh, lovely. Using the unknown uh, object, sometimes it decides that no, even though you really didn't do much, the machine is unknown, uh, is now known, but it shouldn't be, because in here we only look for unknown objects. So I'm gonna go to devices. I'm going to search for unknown and I'm going to delete this little friend here and we'll try again not that one but this one once again select my sequence here we go Press F8 to get a command prompt. Run the sequence again. And see what the result was. So you can see it did test one and then it pretended to copy the log files from failure. Meaning, if I go back to the sequence here, it did run this one. It failed on this one, but because I had a condition here to continue an error on the group, it continued to this group, realized nothing needed to be done because it was in fact not a success, but instead it opened, jumped over to this one and ran this one here. Now, what you always want to do as well is to make sure that you catch the error because you saw that when I booted the device, it just finished up the sequence, it didn't actually fail or anything so what you can do is that you can use a variable that you will go ahead and set so i'm setting the error return code value or variable to this particular value and that will be the return code of the failure and then i have a little powershell script here that will i'm just going to enable this one but if I open this script here, it just shows that return code. That's all what the PowerShell script does. It shows that variable that this step here sets. So now I can hit apply. And I can try again. Select my sequence, get in command prompt, and here we have the task sequence showing that error code. That's all I had for today. Thank you so much for joining. 
I hope to see you again tomorrow. Bye for now.